give me a time when it was most difficult. I mean, personally or in the church or it's just your most difficult moment that you had to preach. You know what? Some people would probably say funerals. Um, we had a member who unfortunately just recently committed suicide. But I didn't find that the most difficult. Mm -hmm. um, because I believe being able to tap into people's pain and validate their experience and pull people out of judgment, that's an easier task. My most difficult sermon was the last sermon I had to preach when I was leaving my church. Which church? St. John's Congregational Church in Springfield. And it was not a pleasant departure. Not that there was scandal, but Alpha Street had called. I turned them down. And the Lord, I felt like I had a Joan experience. Oh, you going to Alpha Street, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then to come back and tell the church. So when I turned Alpha Street down, I told my church I'm staying only for the Lord to convict me and have to go back and say, I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. And people were hurt. I mean, I didn't know how much of an affinity and love they developed for their pastor. It was my first church. So people were hurt and it got ugly. Mm -hmm. um, it got ugly. And I had to preach a farewell sermon. Mm -hmm. And saying goodbye was hard, sermonically. Mm -hmm. You know, give you a funny story. Um, Alpha Street elected me and it was a Tuesday night. I never forget on Wednesday, um, my wife at the time called, she hollered, she's like, you gotta come downstairs. I ran downstairs. The lead story on NBC was prominent pastor leaving. This is on Wednesday, the vote was on Tuesday. Someone had called and gotten the info and I hadn't been able to get to my church yet. It's running on the news mm -hmm. before I can tell my church. Wow. So I walked in that Sunday and when I stood up, I said, I have something to tell you. I'll never get a member in the back stood up. We know GD well, you got something to tell us. Like it was furious in there. And I'd never encountered that kind of hostility in a sermonic moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'd never had people walk out on me mm -hmm. or get frustrated. And to see, you know, people walking out and cussing, leaving the sanctuary while I'm trying to preach, that was tough. Mm -hmm. That was a tough moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So what was the sermon? Um, Paul's farewell to the church in Corinth, you know? Um, and I tried to tie into, remember everything that's been done here. Paul planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase, mm -hmm. you know, and to get them to trust that this has always been God, it always will be, and you all will be fine. Um, but it, it was not well received, there weren't any amens, and there were people getting up walking out. And more than the sermon, the delivery, can you continue to preach when you see people walking out? So what did you learn? You have to. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like, you gotta preach through sleeping deacons, you gotta preach through crying babies, and if you believe that where you stand is authentic and compassionate, you gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. And that helped develop a discipline in me. Um, that we don't preach for crowd approval. You could preach through folks standing up shouting all day long, right? Mm -hmm. that, that give you encouragement. Mm -hmm. So if you're connected to that response, you also have to be connected to the response of leaving or you're connected to validation knowing you're faithful, right? right? That every sermon is not gonna shout and every sermon is not gonna make people leave. But you're gonna get a mixture of both in the lifetime of your preaching if you're pastoring. Mm -hmm. um, Cause every sermon is not popular and some are dangerous. Mm -hmm. And you gotta preach them.